Today's video is going to be relatively quick. I just wanted to share with you guys the starter pots that I'm using to start my seeds indoors. Now I don't start every seed indoors. I just start tomato plants and peppers and generally the things that are a little more tender to start out with. And I use these starter pods. I found these on Thingiverse last year. Thingiverse is a site that uh, gives you free plans to print on your 3D printer. I do have a couple of 3D printers and uh, I find them very handy, specifically in situations like this. Now, obviously you're gonna to wanna to pick a filament that is non-toxic and uh, you can keep your costs down by your print settings. I'm printing things with 20% infill and I'm even printing these little pods very, very thin. So there's really not a lot of plastic here. There's not a lot of money in printing these and I find they work really well. Now the way they work is pretty simple. Basically you fill the water in over here and it leaves some water obviously in the bottom of this container. There's little ports that allow the water to get into each cavity. And then you take these seed pods and you just put them in just like so. And they kind of press down in there. They don't really want to come out once you shove them in, which is awesome. You fill it with dirt. And then when you water it, you're basically making the dirt uh, soak up everything from the bottom. So the water is wicking up through the soil. So you're not putting water directly on top. It doesn't disturb any of your freshly planted tiny seeds. And it keeps the dirt pretty moist. And it also keeps the dirt with a little bit of air in it. And I think it seems to be, at least for me, a really good mix for germination. I'm a pretty good novice when it comes to this. And I'm having extremely good rates with my germination. I really think it's because of these pots. I will put a link down below. That way if you want to print some of those starter pots yourself, you can. You're looking inside my grow tent. I don't really understand the science behind the lighting, but for some reason this lighting in my camera makes everything look pretty sickly. But when you pull these out and you look at them in a natural light, they're extremely green and extremely healthy. Uh, these over here are everything that I've started. Uh, I have some, I think it's called Yakons, Y-A-C-O-N-S. They're uh, basically a type of um, potato that tastes fruity, I suppose. Uh, I haven't ever had one, but I found them online, thought they was neat. So that's what's in these guys here. It's just a little too early in my area to plant them. And then over in the corner is some Hawaii uh, sweet potatoes. And again, it was just a little too early to put them out, but I think here in the next week or so, we'll be able to plant them. Here is a quick picture of those printers that I use. These are the Corality Ender Pro 3s. They're relatively inexpensive. Uh, they're a great entry printer and they seem to be workhorses. I really don't have a lot of problems with these guys. I think to close this video out, I'm gonna show you a time lapse of both the pot and the base being printed. As usual, don't forget to comment down below on your suggestions and ideas. As we all know, I'm just a beginner and I'm just learning. Please like and subscribe. I got a whole bunch of other videos planned and I think you're going to enjoy them.